Hi everyone, it's Melanie from Living Luxuriously for Less and today I am so excited to be bringing to you a blinked out bouquet tutorial that was inspired by the recent wedding of Keisha Kaor and a rapper called Gucci. And if you don't know who they are, do a quick Google search and you will see that they had this amazing star studded wedding and when I saw this bling bouquet I knew that I needed to reach out to Natalie at totallydazzle.com to get some amazing pieces of bling that you see here to create this bouquet because I could not sleep until I could do my rendition of a bling bouquet. And I heard that she has an amazing sale going on right now. So be sure to hop over to totallydazzle.com to jump in on the amazing deals. When I saw this candlestick, I immediately knew that I wanted it to be the handle for my bling bouquet. I'd never seen a crystal handle and I thought it would be a very unique Lux for Less touch to a blinged out bouquet. The next item that I picked up was the metallic silver paints to use on the styrofoam ball and then a brush. You can get a pack of these at the Dollar Tree for just a dollar. The next item that I picked up was actually a styrofoam ball. I'm going to show you the 5.7 inch one but I actually went with the 4.7 inch one because of the size along with some wire clips and um, different floral picks. I got some pearls and some diamonds to fill in, in any gaps that I may have. E6 styles and glue, you guys know that works miracles. And so you will also need a hot glue gun and some glue sticks. And I did not show you guys that, but you would definitely need them for this project. Now the first step that I took is I removed the plastic and then I wanted to press down um, the ball onto the handle to make it kind of form around the handle to make it look really natural and then I'm going to paint the ball using um, some metallic silver paint again these are like a dollar and 37 cents I'm going to mix two because I want it to have a darker shimmer type blingy type effect so that you won't be able to see any white through the bling Next, I'm going to blend together the blingy and the metallic -y paint because I want the perfect finish for this styrofoam ball. Again, when you look at it, I just want you to think everything you look at is bling, everything you look at is glistening. And so the painting process is fairly simple, but what does take a little bit longer is actually allowing the ball to dry. For me, I let this sit overnight, so about 24 hours. After that, I wanted to add the bling in. And so my mindset was that I could use the pin portion to kind of stick it in the styrofoam ball so that I could preserve the bling and then kind of push down on one end and I was going to use some straight pins to go in the ball along with some glue stick to kind of again I was wanting to preserve all of the bling pieces but it did not work out well for me because it got extremely top heavy and so what I had to end up doing is removing all of the backing from the pieces and I'll show you guys that process in just a second also I learned that doing the hot glue around the bouquet bottom or the candlestick does not hold I actually had to hot glue it um, and I used E6000 because the hot glue did not stick and so I used E6000 and it stuck really really well and again I had to wait 24 hours for that to kind of gel so while the ball was waiting to dry that was one process and then the next day I added the ball to the candlestick and that was another 24 hours so here we go I have you know tested it to make sure that it will not move and it won't move and so now I am going to remove the back of the brooches off so that I can glue them firmly to the styrofoam ball by using my wire cutters. I don't know what I called them earlier, but wire cutters. I get really tongue twisted when I'm doing these videos because I don't have a script. I just speak from the heart. So a lot of times 
I misinterpret words. And again, you can get these bling, beautiful bling pieces from totallydazzle.com. So I decided to watch the Elizabeth Smart story while removing the bats from the bling. So I'm not sure how long it took me because I was really, really intrigued with her story. And it allowed me to multitask and the time went by rather quickly. So if you're driving or if you're watching TV, it's a great time to remove the bling off of the, the backs off of the brooches so that works really well for me and so now I'm just going to place them I'm going to evenly distribute them around the styrofoam ball and what I recommend here is that you evenly distribute the weight as you're building your bling brooch because it can get really top heavy and you don't want anything breaking or falling or rolling over like I said I secured this ball to the um, crystal candlestick by using e6000 but again you don't want any mishaps so it is sticking there pretty well um, I, again this candle stick is amazing i wanted to kind of do my own take on the crystal brooch so let's speed this process up a little bit more and you guys can see exactly how it progresses So it's starting to come together beautifully. I'm loving the way that it's coming out already. I decided to use more of the massive brooches at the top and around the front. And then I'm going to go back in and fill it in with the smaller ones. But I am absolutely loving this. Once I got all of the prep work out of the way, meaning painting the ball and then adhering the the styrofoam ball to the to the uh, base or to the handle and allowing that to dry and removing the backs that was like the hardest part of the job and it's really not hard it's just tedious and it can be time consuming because I was so ready for this to come together but it's finally coming together and I am so loving it Oh my goodness you guys we are almost there I am loving this crystal handle I'm telling you guys when I saw this candlestick I knew that it would be the perfect handle for the bouquet I just knew it and I think I'm starting a trend here so if you guys start seeing crystal candlestick holders all over IG and Pinterest send them to living luxuriously for less you saw it here first <laughs> And so here it is oh my goodness I am so in love this is so beautiful so stunning like Cardi B could use this for her rehearsal bouquet like I would so send this to Cardi B because she is so down to earth and she really 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 interacts with her fan base I would so send this to her to rehearse um, at her wedding with oh my goodness you guys I so love the way that it's turned out so beautiful so classy so unique 
I just love it. I just love it. The bling pieces are so amazing. So if you want to create something like this for yourself, be sure to check out Natalie over at totallydazzle.com. I just wanted to show you guys a frontal view of that and then how it would look in the hand of a bride. How amazing. How amazing. I love it. So you guys leave me a comment down below and let me know how much you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more tutorials like this using bling because I definitely have some more tutorials in mind. So leave me a comment down below. If you haven't already be sure to click that subscribe button um, to become an official member of the Lux for Less family and be sure to turn on that notification bell so you're notified of all the new videos that I have coming up. I'm going to be uploading maybe two to three times a week if not more so you want to stay tuned so thank you all so much for watching and until next time it's Melanie with living luxuriously for less cheers